Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Windows 7 Art. I'm Stephen Cooley, and we're going to do a nice acrylic painting today, so let's jump straight into it. Normally, when I'm setting out to start a new painting, I will draw inspiration first from something, from some place. It could be anything. I'll usually have a theme that I'm into. Once I have a theme, then I go about trying to collect reference photos to go off of for my painting. Let's say I want to paint an autumn tree. I will try to get reference photos for the autumn tree because that's my theme. So whether I get reference photos myself or I collect reference photos uh, online to help me get an idea for what I'm going for. Um, reference photos are a big part of my painting. I rely heavily upon reference photos. And that is not a bad thing. In fact, I think that is, at least for me, the easiest way to go about painting. If I have a solid reference photo or photos to go off of, then I inevitably will have a much smoother painting experience. However, recently I realized I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get a reference photo that I wanted to paint. I looked all over and just couldn't find one. And as I was looking, I realized that there was actually a picture in my head that I could see it, it was there, but it just hadn't materialized yet. And I wondered, can I paint a painting simply from that picture in my head without using any reference photos. And so I decided to go about and try that. So as you can see, I have my little canvas here toned with a nice raw sienna, I believe it was. So we're gonna go ahead and put that up there. I think I actually want the canvas to be upright for this composition. Uh, and as you can, also see I have my impromptu palette here with some leftover acrylic paint which as a side note by the way to keep my acrylic paint from drying out if I want to reuse it because you guys know that I like to save my paint and reuse it a lot I actually cover the palette with cling wrap and that way I can keep keep reusing acrylic paint. Sometimes you need to add a little bit of water to it to get it flowing again. Okay, let's start painting. And as a side tip to those who are reusing acrylic paint in the manner that I have just shown you guys, just be careful because the acrylic paint has a tendency to dry on the palette in certain places so that when you're loading your brush, you can oftentimes pick up bits of that dried acrylic paint, which then would be transferred onto your painting as you are uh, going about painting. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, uh, I have figured out with acrylic paint that if you paint something that you don't like and you can't wipe it off because it's kind of already dried, uh, a way you can get it off if your underlying layer is totally dry is by taking a clean paintbrush and just getting it a little damp and then wiping over it so that you kind of re-moisten it, then you can wipe it off and start again. But this only works if your underlying layer is totally dry because if it isn't, then you'll end up wiping off part of that layer as well, which can easily ruin your painting. So you just have to be really careful and yeah, it's a great tip.
that wraps up for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next one. God bless you all. Thank you.